Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another album review. This isn't one that I anticipated, but I figured it was going to be big enough anyway that I might as well cover it. Um, and before you go on a tangent, yes, I'm not the biggest Ariana Grande fan, but I see the talent in her. I think she's highly talented, and she's got some good songs in her resume. So, we're going to take a look at her fifth studio album, um, Thank You, Next, which follows up her 2018 album, Sweetener, which came out August of last year, so a little bit over seven, eight months um, ago, really. And yeah, she released a single, Thank You, Next. I don't think she announced a, um, I don't think she announced when the album was going to come out at first, but, you know, that was more for her uh, now ex-boyfriend, ex fiance Pete Davidson, who, ironically, she had a title named after on the last album. Um, so, yeah, I think that one's, that one's a decent track. Songs I do like on here that I found. The kickoff Imagine was nice. The song Fake Smile kind of reminds me a lot of, like, Erica Badu kind of in that way. It was kind of soothing. The song Bloodline, which is a song before Fake Smile is really good. And the song Ghosting as well. It's the longest song on the album at 4 minutes and 31 seconds. The tracks I thought were okay. Thank You, Next. And then Break, break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. You know, that kind of thing. It actually was more, you know, usually nowadays artists try to, like, finish off their albums with, like, this, like, more, like, soothing song. But this was kind of had the same intensity as most of the album did. So that's how it finishes off. Those are okay. My least favorite, um, Needy was just too repetitive, so was NASA, um, what else was there? There was Bad Idea, which once again, just repetitive in itself, and Makeup, I, I don't, it's, it's the shortest track on here, but I just didn't like the whole, you know, I hope we make up, like, it was just like, okay. And then the one I despise the most, I reviewed this track, is the song Seven Rings, where she tries to, like, do the her best Cardi B or Nicki Minaj impression, and it just, it doesn't work for her, and that was one of my problems on this album. There was, like, more rapping from her, kind of, and her, her rapping shouldn't be her thing. She's got a fantastic voice. She should let it out, not rap about it. You know, I'm sorry, it just doesn't work for her, and, uh, like I said, her vocals do shine on occasion. Songs like Imagine, Fake Smile, you know, do their thing. Um, also, the song In My Head, you know, does does it well. Um, but, you know, I, I, ju I just feel like I, I know she can do better, as this is not her best work. I, I definitely think that, you know, she is more capable of this. And, you know, she didn't have to release this album so quickly. I'm not saying she couldn't have released it this year, but... Jesus, you're like five, six months, you know, from, from your last release, and you go and drop another album already? You haven't even started your tour for your Sweetener tour. That's how, like, that's how not so long ago this was. And it's, you know, I like Sweetener better, frankly. I mean, there was just a lot more on here. I mean, God as a Woman was a memorable track. Sweetener, of course. No Tears Left to Cry. I thought it was all fine and dandy. So when I heard she was releasing an album this year, I'm like, you know what, good for her. But, you know, she didn't have to release it this quickly. So if I had to rate this album, it'd be a six. I'm not going to sit here and say I hated the thing. It had its majority songs that I didn't like. But when it was good, it was good. But when it was, when it was just bad, it was extremely bad. So... Who knows where she'll go from here. Um, so, yeah. Tell me in the comments below what you think of the album. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And I will um, catch you guys in the next one.